tutti. Oggi andremo alla città del Vaticano. O dessert per la prima colazione. What's up guys? Today we are going to the Vatican City. First thing we got is a tour of St. Mark's... Wait, no, no, that's in Venice. St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica, we're doing a top to bottom tour. So they're, uh, they're taking us to the top of the dome right away. And then we're going inside doing a tour of that. And then they're taking us down to the crypts where a lot of the popes are buried. It's gonna be really cool. And then we're seeing the, uh, the Vatican museums and the Sistine Chapel. Isn't that good? That's good. So good. <laughs> and yes, I'm having dessert for breakfast. That's all we got. Today, I'm actually gonna bring the GH4. So hopefully we can make some little cinematic videos and stuff. A little uh, snag in the plans already. We were using Uber, but we can't request another Uber because it said the last Uber didn't get paid. Even though uh, Kayan set up her bank, she told them that we were gonna be in Italy and all that stuff, so we had that squared away. But now it's saying it's not good. And we had to order a taxi, and here we go. Here's your taxi. Tell the camera what you did. I dropped it. Here we go. <laughs> I told her not to drop the camera, and she dropped the camera. Like I did in Pensacola, I dropped it in this area. Yeah, this was on stone. We're in our meeting place for our tour, and we got a cappuccino. Josh is gonna try my cappuccino. I don't like coffee, but uh, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's coffee. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I know, it still tastes like coffee. I need to eat this to get the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Get away from me. Get away from me. Mm -hmm. Did somebody feed them? <laughs> Here's our tour guide. You excited? Yeah. I think this is gonna be cool. I guess I'll stop recording now. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. We gotta go through security. And no joke about security. So that's where he comes out right there. Wow. 
feel the burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, so close. We're halfway. <laughs> Oh, there's air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the air. Yeah, it's getting, my hip is killing me. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, everybody's so out of breath. It's tilting. Whoa, it does tilt. Look at this. I'm holding the camera straight. That's how tilted it is. <laughs> We're literally climbing the dome. <laughs> It's amazing. Like, look how tilted it is. Hold your nose. Look at that. And it just keeps going. I don't like this tilted. It makes my hurt. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> they didn't plan on giving tours. <laughs> It's so hot too. Please tell me that's it. Dang, no. More steps. Oh man, this one has a rope. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. <clears throat> Hold on to it. These steps are teeny tiny. <laughs> Ready? Oh, oh man. Right here. Is it? Yeah. We're, we're done. <laughs> We've reached the top. Oh man. again that's St. Peter's Square and that's where the Pope holds mass for everybody. I think it's every Wednesday so we're gonna miss it because that's when we're leaving. They have so many chairs set up. I've never been on, at, in the Basilica and I've definitely never been on top of it when I first came here to Italy and this is amazing. It's super hot though. <laughs> hey, this is crazy. Look straight down. Oof, creepy. Going down is a lot easier. Yeah. But I can still feel it in my butt muscles. Oh yeah. This generally shows off how slow it is with me because like I have to bend. Yeah, because you're tall. You, you can kind of go by it, but this is this is it for me walking down. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> actually on top of the basilica right now. I mean not necessarily the dome but I guess they're doing some construction on that one. Can we get a beer too? Just one, yeah. 
beer inside the Vatican at 9 a.m. Oh man. This is the Holy Door. It's only opened once every 25 years, which is considered the Holy Year. So this looks like a painting, but it's a mosaic. They don't have any paintings here. They're all mosaics. This one's a and it's a glass mosaic, but it looks like a painting. This is the wedding chapel. Pope's apartment. So one cool thing they said was that this is the original foundation of the church that was built in the 4th century. Those two columns, these are still in their original position where they built the original church. Oh, that's what we walked on? And they said that this level right here, this was the street level of the original church and just all the original foundation. So that's really cool. And we just got done with the uh, St. Peter's Basilica. I keep wanting to say St. Mark's. It was awesome. I heard that we can get a passport stamp for the Vatican City and nope. 
and so much for that. I think we're gonna go check out some gift shops and then uh, head to the Sistine Chapel. Anything to add? It's really bright. It is really bright. <laughs> I gotta pee. The tour itself was really cool. Okay, so one thing that was kind of confusing, apparently after the popes die, they can become holy after they're dead and then they display their mummified body inside St. Peter's Basilica. I think that was like the craziest thing that she said yeah. during the tour. So that line in the distance over there, that is the line to get into the St. Peter's Basilica. It wraps all the way around. And it keeps on going. Just keeps on going all the way to here. It's almost wrapped all the way around. Some people have shorts on and short dresses on. I'm like, dude, they can get in. Maybe they don't know. Let's go. Well, I just had a scare. <laughs> I thought I uh, lost my wedding ring already because I'm not used to wearing it, but apparently I left it at the hotel. We had to go back through all the videos <laughs> and we were when we were back at the little restaurant bar yeah, cafe. the beginning thing. of our day. <laughs> and when you were taking the, cap, the drink of the coffee, and I was like, no ring. Yep, so we're good. <laughs> On to the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> No flash photography, and you have to be quiet. Capella Sistina left. Let's go. So I guess this is supposed to be the outside of it, right? They're doing construction on it. I wish I could see the outside, see what it looks like. They have the entire thing covered. Oh, wow. It just goes on forever. Oh man, look at this ceiling. How do you feel, Karen? Uh, I think this is worse than or yeah. Or There's so many people. Are we getting close to it? Where are we? Yeah. Well, I saw the sign that said it was this way. We're trying to find the scene jump. The reality of room. Are we getting close? I have no idea where we are. This is the biggest bird bath ever. Look at it. Where is the chapel care? Capella Sistina. This place is so big. It's like never ending. And I want it to end, Kay, and I want it to end. I'm finally out. My legs are hurting really bad. It's only day two. Yeah. We also went up a bunch of stairs, too. And it's not over. We gotta still explore the Coliseum. <laughs> no, this is nice, though. Look at this. I'm about done with Rome. I can't handle this city. <laughs> uh, 
We just got back from the Vatican City. Kay has been having issues with her card. She set it up before we left to have, uh, just to be available internationally, so her bank didn't shut off her card. But they shut off her card anyway, so we can't take any money out, we can't use an Uber because they're saying that the payment didn't go through and all this other stuff, so we're trying to figure that out. We're back at the hotel now. But on the way here, we had the craziest taxi driver ever. We almost slammed into the back of a car. Seatbelts didn't work in the car. This city is just full of the most aggressive drivers I've ever seen. 100% everybody's aggressive here. If you're not aggressive, I don't think you can make it. I think I can be an aggressive driver, but I don't think I have what it takes to, to live here, for sure. Our taxi driver, he turned right from the left lane when another car was turning light, just completely cut him off, and that happens all the time in cars and everything. It's just crazy. I just, ugh, I just don't even know. I don't know. This is like the first half of our day. It's only 1.30. This day should be over, is what I feel like. I think we're gonna end this video now because there's been a lot of stuff happening. We gotta dump all the camera footage. I'm pretty much maxed out on the GH4. Later on today, we're going to the Coliseum for the night tour, so that's gonna be cool. Probably gonna have that as a separate video. We'll show the rest of our day from here. We tried to go to the Pantheon again, but the line was ridiculously long and they open at uh, like 12 or 12.30. So I'm probably not gonna get to see the inside, but you know, I guess it's okay. Probably come back at some point eventually. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh, and another thing, the Vatican museums were cool, but after a while, they all just kinda just become the same thing. And you're like, okay, how long is this thing? When do I get out of here? That's how I felt. And there's so many people, it's ridiculous. And the Sistine Chapel was completely filled with people. And they tell you uh, no photos or anything. And so many people were taking pictures. And the main thing about taking pictures was no flash photography. And there were so many flashes going off. It's just crazy. And then I already mentioned the graffiti and everything. I'm, I'm just done with Rome. I'm not a big fan, I gotta say it. So I'm ready to leave. We leave in the morning, we'll get a rental car. Luckily, I don't have to drive in Rome because I'd probably shoot myself in the face. So yeah, that's it. Can you have anything to add? You're just hoping that the card works. I'm gonna see if my ring's in here. If it's not, we got a problem. No, here it is. I found it. Well, that's the, the small win for the day. I actually didn't lose it, I just forgot it. So, yay. Bye.